Uh, Lonnie, <laughs> let's start there. Did you watch the Super Bowl and where were your, your thoughts on the game? Um, it was a great game, actually. Defensively, I think both of them defensively did what they had to do. Overall, good game. You just heard Dayron say that he didn't watch halftime and doesn't know a lot of Usher songs. Because he's but. 12 years old. <laughs> Ain't no baby shark. <laughs> I don't know nothing else, man. Did you like the Usher halftime show? Oh, I loved it. I called my mom. I called my best friend. Yeah, he did it. But, I mean, I'm a little upset because, you know, can't be touching on Alicia Keys like that. <laughs> yeah. Swissby said it, it was okay. He posted this morning and said it was all good. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's cool. <laughs> this is, like, the first, like, initial practice mm -hmm. just with the new guys and with Dennis and Kata and adding them into that system. Just what was it just kind of like to kind of have them here to get go through it? Um, it was great. You know, I think we're very optimistic, very happy with what we got. Um, Dennis is a great guy. Um, I was lucky to play with him last year. Um, he brings that defensive edge and just being a great point guard and a leader. So, um, KBD I've known way back since the Spurs. So, um, the bond and, you know, the, the characteristics and personalities that we brought onto the court is just really good. Thank you. Were you excited when both of them came? Because obviously you have a great relationship with both of them. Um, absolutely. I mean, it's nothing like getting back together with your old friends, you know, people that you still consistently talk to and, you know, share memories and bonds with. So, um, you know, I can't complain. God is good. With Dennis, I mean, like, obviously, what was that connection like with, on the Lakers? Like, how close were you guys? And did you reach out to him when the trade went down? Um, yeah, I mean, shoot, we've been talking since before that, you know. So, uh, he's me and him had some really, very serious talks, you know. Um, he, he really helped me out a lot um, last year with the Lakers as far as, you know, staying upbeat, you know, staying ready, staying professional and stuff like that. So, um, he's just a great guy overall, and, and he's, he's a hell of a leader. How's this season like been for you? I know it's been tough being in and out of the lineup. You find a rhythm, find yourself injured. Like, what's that roller coaster been like, and how you feeling now? Um, I feel good. I feel great. Um, I think most importantly, uh, I feel confident. You know, um, I'm showing what I can consistently do when given the time, when given the minutes, um, and that's all I can ask for. I'm gonna try and look for the good rather than you know trying to dwell on being injured or being in and out of things. Um, I think I know what I'm capable of doing. I'm continue. I'm only getting better and better day by day, um, and that's the best thing. Is you know I have yet to reach my potential. How long do you think this ministry church is going to last for you, or is, is, are you off it already? Uh, I wish I knew, uh, but I feel good. You know I'm moving around pretty good. Um, you know it's just all about just staying with it. Where do you think you've improved the most this season, whether that's a specific on-court attribute or something else? Just consistency. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of been something with me is, you know, I was given a lot of inconsistent minutes, which creates inconsistency, but uh, in the midst of it all, just staying consistent. You know, when I'm on the court, trying to be a plus, um, understanding that not every game is going to be a perfect game. I'm not going to shoot, shoot the lights out every single time. So just finding other ways to implement myself and um, be aggressive. Now that you guys have your group together and you know where you're going the rest of the season, how important are these two games heading into the break kind of like to, to close the first half on a positive note? Um, it's very important, especially when you're playing someone like the Celtics, who's um, a championship contending team. So um, it'll be able to show our new, our new, our new teammates and um, just a new group what we're capable of doing um, and what you know we still have to improve on. You guys are about two games out of the play-in right now. I mean, what, what do you look at when you look at the standings or what your expectations are once everyone settles in here? Um, I think everybody's uh, point of focus is, is making it to the playoffs. Um, I think from the top down, we all kind of want to be in that kind of environment um, and just continuously grow. So I think day-to-day um, -day we're trying to capitalize as much as we can, whether it's practice, um, off-court, uh, getting conditioning in, lifting, whatever it might be. I think everyone's doing their due diligence to be mentally and physically prepared for every single game coming up. I know Ken Thomas has said like things got to pick up more after the 41 game mark. Now I think it's past 50 games. So do you sense that guys understand the urgency that now it's like, all right, things got to pick up a little bit with you know getting under 30 games left? Um, absolutely. You know, I mean, you go from like the top down and just players who've played in playoff games and and, and, and competed. Um, that's where their mindset is. Michael, Cam, uh, Johnson, you know, the list goes on and on as far as players who are born winners, I guess you could say. So, um, you know, when you have those type of players who have that mindset, it, the energy is very contagious, and I think we all know what we want to do. Yeah, that too. I mean, you played in the fin conference finals last year. Do you oh, bring that same, that same understanding that it's, you know what it takes to get here? Yes, sir. Absolutely. So, you know, we're going to continue day to day um, and get better and better every single time.
Thanks, Thanks, Chef. 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 Thanks,